1 plus 1 divided by x divided by 1 minus x divided by 2. So again, ladies and gentlemen, if you remember, the first thing that we're going to want to do is, again, find our LCMs, right? Now, we notice, ladies and gentlemen, here, we have a fraction, but in our numerator and in our denominator, we also have other fractions, right? So let's just try to see one way we can solve this is let's just try to make sure we get that same LCM for everything, right? So let's determine what the LCM is. What is the least common multiple for all of our denominators? Remember, this can be rewritten as 1 over 1, right? So, and this can be rewritten as 1 over 1. So if we look at all of our denominators, what is going to be the smallest number that every single one of them will have to can divide into? 1. Well, we know 1 is going to divide in, but 1 also divides into everything. What other variable? What about x? So what's the smallest? What's the smallest value of x that x needs to divide into? What about y? y? So our LCM is just equal to x times y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply. All right. What I want to do is I need to multiply my top and my bottom by x over y. X over y? Well, I'm sorry. x, y times. Right? Whatever your LCM is, you need to make sure that these are the same denominators. So you're going to multiply by x over y times x over y to make sure that you're going to get common denominators. So let's see. This is my LCM. I have a fraction on top and bottom. Let's see what this is going to look like. So what this looks like is xy times 1 plus 1 over x over xy times 1 minus x over y. Now. What happens when we do this? It means you we apply distributive property. Right? X times y is x times y. X times y times 1 over x is just going to leave you with xy over x. X times y, y times 1 over x. Those divide up to 1, just leave you with a y. What? You are not. Same thing you guys can also do x times y divided by x, which we just know equals y. That's the same thing. Multiplying by 1 over x is the same thing as dividing by x, right? Uh, then on the denominator, we'd have xy, and then xy might or times a negative xy. Well, now the y's are going to divide to 1, and we're going to be left with an x squared. Alex, do you need to, I have another seat over here if you need, do you need it. No, OK. Um, so therefore, you're going to have minus x squared. Now, so we have this. Can we factor this out at all? Is there terms that we can factor out? Well, top we can factor out a y. And in the denominator, we can factor out an x. I'm sorry, y. And therefore, you can have your simplified. I'm just looking at that. Okay? And that would be it. Now, if you guys wanted to know another way you could do it, no, no. Um, which we're not going to go over.